Hey everyone, it's Grantus of Forehead here. Another Bethlehem's Boulevard. I apologize if the if the lighting is too bright in here. I do have my windows, like the blinds, open. So I am, well, the windows, well, whatever, the curtains open. So I am doing one more. This is going to be the last video I do for a while. I want to do a GTA 5 review though. But that'll happen soon. But other than that, let's move on. Let's move on with what I'm going to do. I am going to review Otonin Kit Kat Bars, because this is another Eat It episode. This is going to be the last one for a while, like I said. And for all you lovers out there, happy Valentine's Day. It may be a little early, but hey, it's the day after. I just wanted to do this today because I didn't want to do it before. But yeah, let's open this, because I really want to try these. These have been like on my mind for a while, and I want to do these. I said I would do a video before Valentine's Day. And yeah, these look like dark chocolate Kit Kat. I don't know because honestly, I don't know Japanese, but this is what the package looked like. This is the back. I don't think you need to know unless you know Japanese, which I don't know if many of my viewers know, but if you do, then I guess I'm pretty big in Japan. <laughs> but yeah, let's try this because I really want to try these. I really want to try them because I've never had them before, so I'm going to. Try them out. Who knows what it could taste like? It could be really different. Yeah, these are what they look like. They kind of look like a normal Kit Kat. They have some black stuff in it, but I don't know what that is. Oh, blah, blah. Yeah, these taste pretty good. And these taste like a normal kick out. There's nothing different about it. They do have a slight, like the texture's good enough. They have a really different. It tastes like a normal, like almost tasting a, a dark chocolate candy bar. With, yeah, because this is what I think it is. I could be mistaken, but it it really reminds me of eating an Aero bar or something like that. I mean, it really is well, it is Kit Kat and Nestle and all that. But honestly, it's really good. I hate to say I'm a fanboy of a lot of things and I can't be negative about stuff, but it's hard for me to be that way. But yeah, this is really interesting. It's a really interesting flavor. It, I bought it at the Kopinia Japan Center, like I, I think I showed you guys when I did the video of the green tea, no not green tea, the aloe vera drink and the green tea pocky, I told you about that. And it's downtown in Vancouver, but again, I'm going to try another, because I got to really taste it. I got to really see how it really tastes, see if it's different. But yeah, it tastes a really, really odd, but good at the same time. Am I opening it the right way? Oh my gosh, this is not how you're supposed to open a darn thing like this. But yeah, I'm gonna try it again. Remind me of eating a. Uh, it think, makes me think of an Oreo. It makes me think I'm eating an Oreo bar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you got tiny little black specks in it. That I guess are like... That would make me think that. But, nevertheless, it is really, really good. I have to admit, it is really, really good, and honestly, if you can go downtown, if you live in the Metro Vancouver area, if you can go downtown to Gobinia, Japan Center, I think it's on, it's on Thurlow, but yeah, if you can, go there, because I want you to buy these exact boxes of Otone and Kit Kat, because you will 
in my opinion, I I definitely think you will like them a lot. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna have to give these overall a good. Mm, I'm giving them a solid. Like I'm giving them a light six, heavy seven. But this is me, Scott Betson, also known as Grand Trizzle Fred, with a Tony Kit Kat, signing out forever. Nah, just these two and me.